Hi there and welcome to this week's Angel Reading. I'm Rachel Skoltok. I'm an angel medium and an intuitive energy therapist and an author. Yay, my new book is out this week. So I have pulled you some cards for this week, which promises to be a bit of an intense week. There's a full moon, which is always intense, but this one feels like it's like a big build up in a good way. Look, we can use all of this energy. We need the energy for us to recharge us. We can use that energy to launch our... Um, positive intentions and we can also use that energy to release stuff that's been dragging us down right so it's a really mixed bag of of cards this week and i know why i really i really get why and one of the things that the angels wanted me to talk about to you was um doors now we're talking metaphorically here okay so this is a little inspirational download from the angels they're talking about doors that are open, doors that are closed, and we've been pushing on for a long time and don't seem to be opening, or we've been trying to open, and doors that appear to be not there at all, and the link between all of them. Now, look, all of us are at different points in our journey, spiritually, emotionally, life purpose, everything, you know, no one is better or, or worse, we won't go there, that's ego stuff, that's all about, you know, I'm better than you, or you're not good enough, all that stuff, rubbish, that's ego. We're at different places in our journey. And sometimes we go ahead and we get really, you know, we get excited, we've got it, and then something will slow us down and we'll feel like, okay, I've actually fallen back. Other times it feels like you're going in circles, other times like you're just going backwards. But all of it is exactly as it's meant to be. And because it's all designed to help you to understand yourself, to understand energy and how the universe works, to understand your own self, your personal self as a divine being, as a physical being, and, and what that means. And so we've got to withdraw our attention from making it always about what other people think of us, whether that's your approval rating, the amount of likes you get on Facebook, Instagram, or whether it's what your, your mother and father said to you when you were a child or recently. All of those things are all outwardly directed and we've got to pull it into we're, we're supposed to be getting to know ourselves we're supposed to be empowering ourselves and we're supposed to be i believe having a link a, a conscious connection a divine connection to the to the divine spirit the creator being whatever your name for the nameless is and our angels i'm an angel medium those angels are direct links to that be that creator being that the creator has sent us the angels to guide, protect, help us to understand, help us to get our lessons, to hold our hands, to walk us through things and to raise our vibration so that we can stay consciously aware of who we really are and where we're from and what that energy of light is, is, is there saying to us. So never feel guilty for calling on your angels because your angels are actually standard issue. <laughs> You've got them. You may as well call on them, right? So that's why I work with angels. They're highly positive, protective, the highest version of the light other than the divine source that you can connect to. So these doors, some of us are feeling at the moment like there's a door just opened, right? And it's like a new beginning. You're on the edge of it and you're thinking, what is it that I create? So this card came out first. This was all about those doors. You're in a really great place. This is a number one card. Look at that. It's the magician. It's letting you know that the power is in your hands. Stop thinking like a victim. Stop thinking like you're powerless. Stop thinking like you're limited. The power is in your hands to create the life that you want. Look at the water around him. Look at how confident he is. Now remember that all manifesting, all creating, everything that you create, everything that you experience in this life is a product of yours and other people's emotions, how you feel, your thoughts, the things that you're thinking about, that you're focusing on a lot, the things that you want, the things that you desire, and your alignment with that divine energy, whatever your name for it is. So that divine energy is a high vibration, so you have to keep your energy high. You have a choice between thinking down on the bottom of the scale, which is, you know, guilt, sadness, shame, I'm not good enough, fear, um, anger, worry, all of that, that's all down here. And then you've got the high end of the scale, which is joy, peace, love, looking forward to things, being excited about things, just enjoying being in the present moment, whether you're sitting on a beach or you're um, reading a great book or you're doing your favorite thing, whatever that thing is. Whatever it is, 
that keeps you up here is what keeps you connected. And so when you're manifesting, it's a combination of all three of those things. If, you've, if you're saying, I'm really excited about creating more money in my life, I want my business to succeed, I want that new car, I want, you know, I want to be able to pay my bills, and at the same time, you're feeling jealous because of other people that have got what you don't have, guilty because you feel like you should be further along at this stage in your life, angry because someone held you back once and took all your money off you and, and if you, it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be where you are, um, frustrated, annoyed at yourself, all of those things, that even if you're saying, I'm manifesting this beautiful, wonderful thing, you are not aligned because these feelings that you're putting out there, that you're thinking and feeling, are actually creating a anti-force, a force that's pushing back what it is the universe wants to give to you. So you've got to look at those beliefs and those thoughts and those ideas and change them. Because if that thing hadn't happened to you that held you back, maybe you would never get to learn about the truth about energy and the laws of attraction and how, how that affects you. Maybe if that person hadn't come into your life or if your parents hadn't have done whatever, you wouldn't be the person you are today. And, and I know that that's the truth, that we all have our own path to walk, our own road to walk. And the quicker we get past holding on to those resentments, angers and frustrations, the, the quicker and the more peacefully our, our life manifests. So you've got to align this with this. And then that's going to align you with the divine force, the divine energy. So think about that. The angels are saying to me that with these doors that are standing open for you at the moment, you are getting a chance to put your, those thoughts and actions and, and feelings and thoughts into that to create something brand new. There's a blank slate waiting for you. You're also being told that you're overcoming difficulty. So for some of you, you're hitting a place where you feel like it's a wall, there isn't even a door in it or the door's closed and you're not going to get any further. And that's because you've been caught in the spirally whirlpool of, of negative emotion. And it's okay, you know, it's okay. But you have to do your healing. You have to do some, some energy work. You have to call on those things, those tools that are out there in the world and consider that you don't yet know everything. Your life isn't finished. You only, today, you can only see from a certain perspective. So there is a door in that wall that you've hit. It just takes a different approach. For those of you that have been rattling on a door for a long time, maybe the business isn't launching, maybe the move isn't happening, maybe the relationship isn't working, consider that perhaps it's not for you. There's something else or there's a different approach, there's a different way of doing it or that, and always go for the more positive way, not the more manipulative way. That it might not be the right door for you. So consider that and ask for signs because that's going to help you overcome those difficulties. Sometimes we get trapped and stuck in a certain boxy way of thinking, thinking it's got to be this way, it should have been that way. All of that is just guilt-inducing ego rubbish that's just going to keep you stuck for a really, really long time. Reframe. So the doors are going to open for you, but you just need a different approach and maybe a different door. You are being safely protected at this time. Archangel Michael is with you. Archangel Michael is over my shoulder there, a painting by my beautiful friend, Bridie Walker. And Archangel Michael features strongly in this. He can cut the cords to those things that are dragging you back into the past. Those energetic links, and this is our fourth card, they match energy healing work. Those energetic links can be strong enough to keep your mind, your beliefs and your emotions stuck in those old ways. And blinker and blindfold you from seeing the things that you're supposed to see. So I've been there. I've been there so many times and I get it. I really do get it. And, you know, sometimes it's easier to help others than it is to help yourself. But I'm always aware that life is a lesson, that everything that is hard is actually showing us something. There's a blessing at the core of it. There is a door that is going to unlock from it. It's a teacher. So once you know that, you start looking for the blessing and you start going, okay, maybe the universe is showing me something here. I had a situation last year, and a friend recently pointed this out to me, where I was really let down by somebody. Someone just wasn't doing their end of the bargain. They were um, really, uh, I was freaking out, thinking, oh, I'm not going to be able to do what I said I was going to do. And what happened 
was it, it all came together in the end, but it wasn't satisfactory. And really what I should have seen was that the door was not opening and that it was giving me an opportunity to do something differently, which I could have done and, and would have probably come out of it better. But that's a great lesson for me now because I can look back and see that that door wasn't opening for a reason. It was showing me something. And I can guarantee whatever you're stuck with at the moment, it's showing you something. And if you just look at it differently, rather than the universe is attacking me, things aren't working out for me, it's always like this, this is my problem, you know. Look at it differently, what is it showing you? And know that there is always a compassionate answer. There's something wonderful waiting for you around the corner as soon as you let go of that baggage. So also a week for disentangling from battles. Whether that's a battle with yourself, with another person, trying to get someone to see something, trying to get someone to leave you alone, trying to get something um, done by someone that doesn't want to do it. This is about surrendering it to the universe and saying, okay, this isn't working. Maybe I've got to dissolve all of this stuff that is keeping me engaged. You actually drop your end of the rope of the tug of war battle. Things are going to heal and heal in miraculous ways. And you can use this beautiful energy this week, this intense energy, to just say, you know what, I'm going to trust the universe for a change. So trust that your angels are with you. Ask for their help with everything and know that they are there for you, that this is a compassionate universe and it is it is there for you and you have a chance to do so much this week. From my heart to yours, angel blessings. Thank you so much for your support and your love and look out for my new book which is out it's called my life with angels and it's out this week you can order it off my website see you soon bye